Hey internet people, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Uh, quick show and tell, hopefully a quick video because I only have 25% on my phone. So, uh, sandwich pour from the last video tried a lot darker than I expected for a sandwich pour. I still love the depth of the blank spaces. Um, we threw it up on the wall in my living room, which is painted a pale blue. And my husband, man of wisdom, says it looks really good on the wall. Like it's like it, it commands your attention. Um, I feel like there's too many cells, which is my own fault. He's like, no, 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 because they're good cells. Um, but it's like one of those, I don't know, I'm not going to equate it to a museum piece. But have you ever been in a museum and you've seen something up close and you're like, oh my God, look at all those lines. And then you step back and you're like, oh, there it is. That's kind of sort of this. So uh, it'll get a coat of varnish and go up on my uh, Etsy page in a few days. Very pretty. I assume we've seen some of the cells. The cells were great on this guy. So, and I just love the depth of that. I like the water part. So there's that guy. Um... I'll have two more up on my page. Go feed them, honey, and thank you. Is this guy here, done off camera? Just a little whimsical, big cloud store coming into the valley with the lake. Kind of love that one. That's 11 by 14. And then I did another one, um, more oceany, so I call it Sunrise um, at Sea with the waves and the water and then the sky. So that's really pretty too. And then today's inspiration, and I know I've shown this painting before, is this one here. There's something about the way the colors flew when I blew it out with my hair dryer that makes it look like it's a watercolor. Like, see this, how it like fades? And then, you know, other parts where it's like, you can have color, but you may not. And you must have color and you may not. It's like that everywhere. Like I did a watercolor wash. I don't know what sort of alchemy happened that day when I made this. I know I tried to film it and ran out of memory, but um, I'm going to try to recreate that look. You know how that's gonna go, right? <laughs> With different colors, but you gotta try. So let me get you down on my uh, gently used uh, 16 by 20 today. On this, my family's all coming home. Hey, Chloe, go feed him, okay? Thanks, lovey. Thank you. Big size. Oh. oh my God. I have to do something besides look at my phone. Oh my God. Anyway, colors. Um, I have my, this will all come up on the screen. My, uh, I'm filming, honey, okay? Uh, this is my Glidden Essentials semi gloss in white. Uh, about two cups with a big old squirt of my GAC 800 to prevent crazing. Works great. I'm going to go ahead and put a boatload of that down on here. I should have it go close to the edges too, like that. Save some for my corners for later. And then colors today, I'm using two of the Deco Art extreme sheen I have sapphire and I have amethyst and then I have one from folk art a color shift in aqua flash shazam shazam aqua flash and then my cell activator today is artist law professional series this is ivory black um, which I felt wasn't black enough plus it's transparent so I added a healthy dollop of Golden's Carbon Black to that, and I had a tiny bit left, leftover Australian Floetrol. Uh, three to one ratio, I usually do four to one. We'll see how it turns out. Seems a little thicker because I'm out of the Floetrol. Uh, yeah, let's just throw these down in a line, blow it out. And see if we can get something kind of like the other one because I'm enamored with this uh, technique right now. So we'll give it another go. And it should be pretty since these are all metallics. So there's the blue. A 
purple with the green kind of on the side like that that looks good here goes the black cell activator and we'll give this a blowout see what happens all right cool air on high up that spot didn't I I sure did missed it up pretty good that's a do-over right there try it again dusty doodles go eat your dinner buddy go get your dinner go ahead go go get your dinner good boy I love how my dog understand certain sentences without you know other than single word commands like sit and stay and heal he knows all those too but you can say like go get your Mom, dinner do, do what the big bag it's full and i cannot pick that up i am sorry okay we'll wait for daddy that's okay all right Let's do this other part again. Better. Better, better. Whoa, stay on the counter hair dryer. Ah, I got paint all over my hair band, so I'm just gonna hold my hair back and give that a little blow there, there, and there. And then we'll see. A lot more white this time. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Mostly white, but that's all right. Let's throw on some gloves, give it a tilt. I'm gonna try not to have a spine down the middle. That's like kind of a goal too. It doesn't, it didn't blow the colors across like, like my other painting. I don't know how I did that, y'all. And my hair dryer cut out, I mean my hair dryer cut out, my, uh, camera died it quit filming um, while I was doing the lines so if I just had the hair dryer part like maybe I held it different or I don't know what I did differently what are you gonna do though I'm gonna see how far this stretches before I add white or maybe I should do that now what am I saying let me just Get paint on the corners at least. All right, here goes nothing. Let's go toward you. Oh, 
uh, it's gonna wreck that one part, save some of it, save a little bit of it. Well, you really toted half the painting off, Karen. I'm sorry, we're gonna bring, sorry if you can't see, give me a second, I'm gonna bring this all down. And there's one part that's doing this cool, cool little curve thing that I'm kinda grooving on. It looks like a little hurricane thing going on. I'll show you. Okay, one thing I really like is that I broke up the spine, which is, that was like high on my list. And then, am I in frame? Oh, low battery. Am I in frame? Like right here, this, like it goes near, like kind of around in a circle, is cool. I can't believe how much blue showed up. Let me see. I'm gonna bring it toward me a little bit. I'm kind of really liking uh, this though. I like all the negative space everywhere. I'm gonna add a, mm, dig out just enough white. I kind of cut it close to making my white. I'm gonna kind of bring this right here and tilt this. Now my husband's home to have dinner. So I'm gonna have to wrap this up pretty quick. Yes, yep, dinner's here. Be right there. Almost done filming. Let's give this another little tilt. Right here. Can you do Chloe a favor and open up the dog food? She was struggling. The new bag, I guess. All right, let's go toward me a little bit. Get that one line off that I wanted off. Let me see if everything's where I'm happy with. It did a little bit of that like watercolor effect in here. That's super cool. It's like watercolor, watercolor. You have cells, but you don't get any. You can be colored, but you cannot be. Like, that's just so cool to me. Be my favorite thing ever. Oh, yeah, you guys, I think I really like this. I really, really like this. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save that color shift green. And when this dries, I will dilute that color shift green with water to make it like really thin. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush. Let me make sure I don't splooge on the canvas. And I will take my paintbrush and I might add these cells right here and right in here. I'm gonna paint those with the color shift green. Because I have it here and here, I feel like I just need some right there in the middle. I mean, I'm in love with this part down here. But otherwise, shut up. Yay, I really like the looks of this one. And uh, yeah, really good colors. Um, that should be pretty and you know, all uh, shimmery when it dries. There's a little spot I missed right here. And ta-da! Let me get you guys down, show you what I'm talking about. Quick one today. Get my corner, the leftover white. The way it ran off the edges looks really great too, like the cells are holding. That's always a bonus. I really like continuity on my sides very much. Yep, it just needs a pop of the green right here in the middle that I'll just take. You just water it down Otherwise, if you try to do it too thick, it'll leave lines. And I will just paintbrush um, some color right in here. Um, but again, that whole effect of like, you get, so you get color, but you do not, just kind of blows my mind. Let me get you down. Hopefully I don't turn you off. Ugh. All right. So there's the top little section there. Love that. It's like the wind blowing that purple around. 
this section here, here's where it kind of looks watercolor, like a watercolor painting. And then here in the middle, where the blue, <laughs> you get color, but you do not. It's so interesting. And then here, the way the colors merge together right there in that section is just awesome. And uh, this little curvy part at the bottom, really quite happy with that too. So kind of up high. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked with this, y'all. Yay! And look at me under 20 minutes. Man, getting all fancy. Um, thanks for the love and support. I have a bunch of people to thank next time um, for your donations to my channel. Super, super appreciate it. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I'll probably paint tomorrow, so you'll get another video up pretty quick. You guys take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Karen. I'm back with the dried results. Uh, sorry for the delay in getting a video up. Had to let this dry. And I just filmed 20 minutes of me, um, as I mentioned in the video, of that I was going to go back with my paintbrush um, and touch up or add color to the paint and purple. The paint in purple. The <laughs> purple and green. I filmed it. And then I played it back and it was so bleeping boring. Oh my God, I would have put you guys to sleep. It was 20 minutes of me like shading. So this is a take two. So you guys don't have to see that. Anyway, this is the final finished results. I did just five minutes ago finish adding washes of color to certain areas. Um, uh, to help balance it. Um, I didn't do that part there. That was there. It was areas like in here, like the wash of green and purple going down. That's me. This over here is me. This up here is all me. Um, just to help balance because there's an awful lot of blue and there was less of the purple and green. So can you see the shimmer? It's very shimmery. I love it. I love the uh, composition. I feel it's rather balanced. It's got some big old cells and uh, these big wispy areas here. Really, really quite happy. I love that part up here. It just makes me smile. Uh, so there's that guy. Still not quite what I'm after. Like, you know, I don't know if you can see the one behind me with the glare. Um, with the water um, color effect, it has some of it. I'll probably try again. You might see another video from me. But for now, uh, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.